Hey guys, how's it going? So about a year ago, when the DJI FPV system came out, everybody was putting it on quads. I couldn't wait to do it. But really what I could not wait to do was put it on my Traxxas TRX4 Sport. I was already running analog video using TBS Crossfire for control and was having a great time. Well, the times have changed. I've got the FPV system now. It's on my crawler. Let's take a look at it coming up next on the channel. Well, here you go, guys. This is what was going on in January. My Traxxas TRX4 Sport with the Rum Cam Phoenix 2, a Rush VTX, TBS Triumph Antenna, Crossfire Control, super awesome looking video, at least what I thought, but I was having a great time. And here we are today, running at 700 milliwatts, FPV DJI system, beautiful, no static, had to make some modifications and get things under control, and we'll talk about that right now. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm Chad. If you're into FPV models, computers, all this other dorky stuff, I'm your man. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed this content. So yeah, just in case you didn't know, if you have a DJI FPV system, you can pretty much hook it up to anything. All you need to do is just hook it up to power, bind it to your goggles. You don't need no flight controller or anything like that. And you're gonna get super awesome awesome clean video there are a few caveats to this though the biggest thing that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to protect it and you're going to have to control the temperature if you just throw on a vista unit like i did and run some testing i was able to get maybe about three or four minutes out of my cadex vista before i did some modifications by placing a couple fans just blowing on it now I can drive this thing as long as my battery will last on my Traxxas Sport. I can go for about 35 to 40 minutes before the battery goes kaput and I run it full 700 milliwatts. I could probably go up to 1200 if I wanted to, but I haven't felt the need yet. Now my old si uh, system, I was running Crossfire, but since then I bought a Dumbo RC remote, which I know sounds silly, but that's the name of it. And this thing has, you know, your regular type of steering and all that stuff uh, for remote control cars. And it runs forever. But if I need to put Crossfire back there, I can. I can use my Tango 2. Super simple. I had it set up with a switch for reverse and uh, uh, forward. So that way I didn't have to do no funky things with, uh, you know, the sticks and changing modes and everything like that. So let's take a look at the TRX4 Sport, how I have it set up on the bench right now. Uh, this is a work in progress. It works and everything like that, but I do want to uh, pass on a couple good things that I've learned and a few things that uh, I still need to work on and maybe we'll show in an upcoming video if you guys are interested. So here we go, guys, this is it. We've got the, the TRX4 Sport with the Cadex Vista mounted on top going. So, as you can see, I've got two 30 millimeter fans going on here, blowing on this thing. One just kind of an angle here, so I could still get to the my to the USB C connector, and then another one right here. It's a real clean and dirty setup, more of a proof of concept. I want to protect this thing, and I want to get it inside here. You can see that. I did some cutting on the window and stuff, didn't really work out. So I'm gonna need to pick up a new body shell just to kind of clean everything up, make it look real good. And I think ultimately what I want to do, I like this higher camera angle up here. By the way, if you take a look at that, what I did was just mount the camera on some standoffs and that worked out really well compared to uh, things I've done in the past with like just hot gluing the camera in there and stuff. Don't know why I didn't think about that before, but I've kind of built like this mounting platform here to put everything on. And the thought is, you know, you only got so much cable here with the Vista to work with. So I think what I will do now is 
I will mount everything on the bottom here upside down and then just run my camera cord up through there. So the only thing up here will be the camera. So everything will be protected inside here. I will take some sheet styrene and cover up the cab and then make sure that is all like hot glued and plasti dipped and everything like that to keep it from getting, you know, splashed with water, snow, that kind of stuff. Just kind of protect it because I'm not 100% sure how the waterproofing is on this. The Rush VTX was like unstoppable. I ran it like underwater and all kinds of stuff and never had like a single issue with it at all. But I don't trust the Vista. And then what we can do is we can still leave this up here mounted on standoffs. We can use plastic dip and stuff like that to kind of seal up around the camera. That won't hurt it or anything like that. Put some around the lens. Don't really care as long as it's protected so that way nothing's going to get in there. And then that will free this up a little bit, get rid of all this stuff. And we can still work on keeping a scale look up on top because that's always been my goal, obviously, to protect it keep it running by using the fans that fix that problem and then trying to achieve the scale look by hiding stuff and then kind of mixing this camera in with scale items like i don't know a couple like a gas tank maybe some sleeping bags some things like that so that way we don't have to worry about anything and it'll look good be protected everything else like that now, alternatively, you could put everything on the inside, but the camera view on the inside, even if you put the camera like all the way up here, you know, the windshield comes down, so you gotta recess it a little bit. You just lose so much of your viewing angle. And we'll play to the video here. As you can see, the, you just get to see so much that's going on here while you're out driving around. And with the digital FPV system, it looks so freaking great. You just don't want to lose anything. You just want to see the environment. You want to explore. You want to look at things. You know, the F DJI FPV system has changed totally how I fly. I end up just flying more like a Mavic without GPS now than I do freestyle or anything else just because... I'm so into the image still and just flying around and looking for animals and like, you know, gaps and trees to fly through things at the top of trees, like bird nests, that kind of stuff. All the things that you can see. I mean, look here, I even had like a pink rabbit or monster or something jump out at me here. So you just don't know what you're going to see when you're driving around the woods in digital FPV. And of course, don't forget to wash your hands like the president says. So what do you think, guys? Great idea or not? I think it's a fantastic idea. If you've got a DJI Quad, you're not flying a lot. If you've got an extra Vista laying around and an old Slash or something like that, you can throw that Vista system on top of there and enjoy this video. I mean, it is just so much fun. And again, you can use Crossfire for long range and you can just basically go anywhere. I probably will actually put Crossfire back on here just to see how far and where I can go with this thing. Honestly, um, you know, I, I almost feel at this point I'm kind of limited by battery power uh, because you can only drive these things so fast. And I've got about 35 to 40 minutes. Like, probably could get more out of my trx4 sport if i lighten it up a little bit but it's built per it's built for uh, performance i've got a lot of brass in there some underdrive overdrive gearing ratio going on and things like that because obviously when you're i don't know deep in the woods or a half mile out you just don't want to get stuck and have to go back and carry back a, a 10 pound uh, rc vehicle so anyway, thanks for stopping by the channel, guys. Check out one of these other videos. I'll be back soon. Talk to you later.